Hey everybody, we are back, and uh, I mean, I don't need to refresh your memory, I'm sure. But would you look at that? That's pretty cool. Randomize me. That's, that's regular Lazarus. If it's tainted Lazarus, we pass, but I'm pretty sure that's regular Lazarus. He's got freckles. Yeah, yeah, that's regular Lazarus. Tainted Lazarus. Oh, I don't even want to see him, man. So that was what? Tainted Lazarus, hu tainted Lazarus hush lamb? Okay, okay. XL? Not XL. Unknown, obviously. Um, but what, what is there to say about this right now? What is there to say about this? I mean, it's been a while. There's so many characters in this game now. You gotta, you gotta think twice, man, about how you play this. One of the ways that you, I think, can manifest victory on this run, um, you get HP from your first boss. I'm, I'm a big believer in becoming uh, Dark Lazarus or Resurrected Lazarus as soon as possible, just to clear it off the mental overhead. A lot of people. You know, they, they wait for the deals with the devil, they take the first deal with the devil, and basically they get it. Whether or not you'd consider it free is a semantic debate I'm not interested in, but it doesn't cost you your life to pick it up, or it does cost you your life, but you got another one. Um, I, I kind of like, you know, jumping at the first opportunity, and, and we actually, especially if you can get a second benefit out of it, and we have that opportunity potentially here, when you consider that we have this uh, self-sacrifice room. So if we get HP from the boss, we're pogging. And then you don't take it right away. I mean, we could maybe just roll Plum Flute on this one, but I, I really want to try to get the passive. Um, you go, you play the self-sacrifice room. Walk out, grab HP, play it, walk out, grab HP. If you die, you don't sweat it because you're happy to even just be getting some consumables uh, for the chance to become resurrected Lazarus. I think Lazarus starts with 3 HP, so we can we can do the mental math. Parasite's a great item, by the way. Good movie, too. Not sure if you're familiar with that one. Stapler's just awesome. I mean, it's better than HP, probably. <laughs> But I would like to see some more HP, please, some more HP. We don't want to take any hits, because any every half heart could make a big difference here. Um, a bomb, I think you probably are going to want to take a chance on it. But there's a, uh, you know what, I mean, we'll start here. We, we should have done, oh, never mind, I'm a genius. I said we should have done it at the top, because we have the chance to get like a secret room out of it, but we got insanely, like, unbelievably lucky. We get Ghost Pepper instead. Um, which of course scales amazingly with our luck stats. Let, you know what? It's a lucky room. Look at that. So we got more than paid back. Let's try it here. We're gonna have one extra bomb minimum. Lovers is actually, like, this is one of the few times I would say that was insanely great for us. Secret room as well. Secret room... Not so good, but might be able to buy a red heart. So we should be able to get two plays. Oh, thank you. Then two of these. Aren't we like the next play is a 33% chance for an item? No, 33% chance for three coins. Then we could teleport or get a chest. Okay. Can we do this? This one, I think, leaves us at... Like, I think this is, this is one heart, not one and a half. What do you got for me in here? Oh, baby. So I think that's two hearts... Which means this next play would take us down to one. Sorry, I'm in my mind palace right now. I can't come to the phone. Okay, it's extremely good. Obviously, Miter is great, but I think that the tears up from active contrition kind of sick as well. Now, this gives us an eternal heart. Still, though, I'm here for the tears ups, man. So we definitely get a play. 
The next play spawns Uriel. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Can we buy a Spirit Heart? If we could die and spawn, spawn either 30 cents or 7 Spirit Hearts, I would consider that to be Pog City. We can buy a Spirit Heart? Holy crap. So I don't know, man. Like, a lot of people probably would have played this differently, and I think this is what makes Isaac kind of shine when it shines, is that everybody could have... Everybody could have played this in a different fashion. That one killed us and gave us 30 cents. Obviously, we're coming back with, like, you know... <laughs> no HP? Like, literally no HP? But we are also coming back with some seriously high-quality stuff. The ultimate irony, of course, would be if we just immediately got one-tapped by, like, a champion. But let's just hope that doesn't happen. Buy a strength card. I'll buy one of these. Was it worth it? Yeah, honestly. I mean, I think of active contrition just by itself is, is really, really, really good. I'm not knocking that at all. Plus, we might have created a plausible reason for us to miss the hush fight, which would actually be, like, worth a lot for me. <laughs> To, to not be uh, forced to go through the hush fight would, would be incredible, potentially. That would be a nice... That would be worth its weight in gold already. I would love to get um, our luck upgrade, of course, by the way. I think we got to commit to the angel deals at this point. I, I, I wanted perfection, in case I, that wasn't clear. But I think we skip our deal with the devil to hopefully get some deals with the angel. Active Contrition does do that, but I don't know. Sometimes people will be like, you know, Active Contrition lets you get deals with the Angel after you got to deal with the Devil. Well, you know, be that as it may, it's not like I can just make Active Contrition appear late in the game. Maybe some Isaac YouTubers can. I'm, that's not a joke about, like, you know, a cheat engine or something like that. I just mean, like, some people seem to have a really good grasp of the ability to force items into the game by, like, you know, using the D20 and Curse Dice and stuff like that. Well, we're going to be a little tight, obviously. I'm, I'm hoping... I mean, I think the real genius play for Diplopia is you just use it to double HP if you see it. Even if this pays out with, like, a Spirit Heart, I'd probably... Look, I know I said if it paid out with one Spirit Heart, I'd probably do it. What I meant was if it paid out with two. <laughs> you got to try because I'm not a coward, that's why. I, I heard you asking, you don't have to try. You just gotta pick your moment. Love it. Temperance, do we know what this is? Applies five random pill effects. How could you go wrong? Has there ever been a more dis- I, I stepped on the spike, apparently. Has there ever been a more disappointing outcome than this? <laughs> it was from uh, from five random pill effects. Uh, well, you know what? Now that we, if this is still open to me, wow, you're actually like a piece. Um, that's all right. Even if we get deals with the devil in the future, if we have Diplopia active, that's still that's still very very solid. You gotta go. You really gotta go. You gotta go. Um, this is a nightmare, and, like, really calls into question the strategy of no matter what becoming resurrected Lazarus, but I don't know, like, rip to the haters, but I'm not that scared. Now, I, I know what you're gonna say, I thought on two spirit hearts you were gonna Diplopia. That was before you gave me some doo-doo, and with your doo-doo, I, I, with your fake temperance card i ended up having to get a, a speed down and then like six amnesia pills and an x-lax i don't think so man i don't think so now now i'm coming for that number one spot i'm coming for mom's steak knife and mom's butter knife anyway i'm doing well thank you for asking um I, you look hey anybody else out there a 45 year old human uh resources manager Anybody else out there working in HR right now? Survivor's on tomorrow. What do you think's going to happen? I don't know. We're going to finally find out. Is Erica going to... Is she going to use the newfound power given to her by Jeff on the last episode? Oh, my God. I don't know. I've been... I've been my stomach's been in freaking knots all week, man. 
I don't know. Is the, and then don't even get me started on the Uwa tribe. Is their intentional Matson going to work? Or is Ricard going to stab Shan in the back at the moment she least expects? I mean, there's a there's enough there's enough drama here to fill ten seasons. Forget one season. You pay for the whole seat, but you just need the freaking edge, man. Is the thing. Uh, I don't really like. I don't think it's good enough. Like Bloody Lust is good. I just don't think it's good enough overall to to get rid of our Diplopia. Yes, I am at the stage in my life where I'm very excited. Well, I shouldn't say very excited. Like, I'm not so very excited for Survivor that, like, I spend all week reading the forums, you know, hoping to figure out what's going on. People flying drones over the island a year ago to figure out what happened and report on it in advance. You know, I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy, but I'm like, it's, it's a signpost I use to define my week. Much like it's uh, Taco Tuesday, you're like, oh my god, it's Tuesday. It's tacos tonight. That's how I feel about Wednesdays right now, man. I'm like, oh my god, Wednesdays. It's Survivor Night. And I do have to say, you can hate on reality TV all you want, but I really think like there's only two kinds, and, and this is my own opinion, there's only two kinds of shows still on cable television that are worth watching. Um, sports, if you enjoy them. And competition-based reality television programming. And you, like, you, you can be a hater, and that's fine. But, like, when you look at what's left on TV, like, it's just those two things. Uh, America's Funniest Home Videos knockoffs. And then, like, 12 different shows that are all about, like, Chicago emergency services. Like, do you know anybody in your life under the age of 60 that watches... Anything on television that is not either sports, Survivor, or Big Brother. I will throw in one more thing. Look, I hate them. I think that they're everything wrong with television. But The Masked Singer and, um, you know, America's Got Talent probably also fit the bill. Okay? You, do you know anybody that watches scripted drama that comes on cable television? Better call, and I know you're probably like Better Call Saul, right? And I don't disagree with you. It's a fantastic show. Maybe even better than Breaking Bad, which would have been insane to think about when it first started airing. But now you're like, oh, I mean, people were saying if it's even half as good as Breaking Bad, count me in. Well, consider yourself counted. But come on, you're not watching that on AMC. You're watching that on like, you know, AMC Go 10 minutes after the episode airs, right? 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 Am I right or am I right? So I'm going to be a coward. Um, I'm not going to go back to the blood bank. I just don't see the merit, man. Plus, I got to get to this hush fight. Admittedly, getting some HP would help, but hey, I, got, I got things to do, man. I got things to do here. Anyway. So yeah, I, I look. Survivor is like a delineating midpoint in my week. That's what it comes down to. Everybody's got them, I'm sure. Because I heard you after the, you know, NLSSs, you know? Oh, how am I supposed to know it's Friday if there's a stream today, but it's not an NLS? Okay, I don't even know where the joke is there, but they can't always win. Did I tell the joke about how people in the old days were probably stoked to fold laundry because they had nothing else to do? It's kind of funny. I, I, I love contrasting my life with what my naive interpretation of what life was like in the old days, which is, I, I think when I think of the old days, and, and this is generalizable, you only think of like, you know, you think of it two different ways. One is, it's exactly the same uh, as your current life, but more boring. The other way is that you're actively serving in the military in the Second World War. <laughs> Those are the... <laughs> Those are the two different superpositions that the past lives in at all times. Is either you're openly, like, you know, in the mud, or you're just like, Mom, I don't want to milk cows. I want to play with my cup and ball. But it is, like, speaking of that, by the way, isn't it funny to think of a kid that's like, Oh, hey, that's not so bad. Saturnus? Isn't it funny to think of a kid that, like, puts off his chores 
to play with like one of those old Victorian toys, like a, a, a hoop on a string or like a, like a hoop and a stick, I mean to say. Like all, can you picture like a Victorian school age child? You know, they're trying to teach him about, like, you know, Latin or something ridiculous that they were doing back then. And, uh, they were trying to teach him which of the four humors you have to drain in order to cure someone's gout. And then he's like, I, you know, in his head, sorry, I can't hear you. I'm just using the hoop and a stick right now. I'm just using the hoop and a stick. Like, my body is in school right now, but my brain is coming, like, hoop on a stick video compilations, hoop on a stick subreddit, hoop on a stick tricks. It's funny, that may, and you know what? Maybe, like, Fortnite, or maybe even Isaac, are our hoop on a stick now. Like, maybe in the future they'll have pastimes that seem so advanced that the idea of, like, you know, playing something like this will seem so quaint as to be a comedy in and of itself. I've never played with a hoop on a stick, man. Or a hoop and a stick, I should say. It, it might be actually enjoyable. I mean, there's some of the simplest pastimes in life are enduring. Cold glass of water after you've been out in the sun for a while. Nothing wrong with that, you know? The one second after your bowel movement starts when you barely got inside the house after like you know hopping off the bus you didn't think you were gonna make it and then you made it like that's that stuff they were doing that back in the 17th century i also think i have a question for you okay these are honest questions even though they might seem silly i think there's some truth and some merit to them okay if Modern day bathrooms existed, but there was only like one of them. Let's say, or let's just say they were very expensive uh, to make back then. Okay, in like the 1500s. How much do you think the richest person on earth at the time, or like just royalty, let's say, would pay to use a modern day movie theater bathroom instead of a a, a chamber pot? Do you think they would pay more than the equivalent uh, adjusted for inflation of modern day $50,000 per bathroom use? Now we take it for granted nowadays, you know? But back in the in the 17th century, man, they would have they would have fought wars over like, you know, toilet paper if it existed. First person who invented the bidet would have been like uh, canonized as a saint. St. Thomas Crapper. Bidet! Now that I think about it, Bidet must be named after a, a person, right? There must be, be like a William Bidet or something like that who invented the, the Bidet. We got too many ringed items, man. I don't know what any of these things do. There's too much stuff on me. It kills. The chin kills. I don't know. Anyway. It's interesting to think. I, I wonder what, what our hoop and stick would be. I want, probably Fortnite. I know you're going to say it's probably Fortnite. Hold on. We're supposed to go lamb? Yes, this is correct. Okay. So, give me this. Give me this. Ooh. Hey, we don't have a lot of money. But I still like it. Okay, it's, it's okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, you piece. Hold on. So if we dupe this, we get four items. Can I tell you something that might blow your mind? I don't think it's worth it. So money equals power is the best item here. I'm going to take it, even over the HP, but I'm not going to use the Diplopia just to get a little, bit of, a little bit of stuff, you know, just to get a little juice and a little squeeze. I'm not going to do it because I think we can do better on Diplopia. I think that the actual Diplopia play for us is using Diplopia on an incredible ladder from heaven shop where we can't afford what's on it, which is probably likely to happen like immediately. We can take hem Hematemesis with us. What? Okay, never mind. I can't leave the room. That's fine. Bro, the music goes hard, huh? So I think this, w I think this is the Diplopia chance. You versus the Diplopia chance she told you not to worry about okay like straight up angelic prism 
I'm for it. I'm for this. We get an HP upgrade. We get Angelic Prism. We get Seraphim. Some of these contribute... Oh, okay, our game's gonna crash. <laughs> oh! We got too much going on, man. We got Stitches, Angelic Prism, and Saturnus. These three... GPUs hate him! How one gamer crashed the game with three simple items. Oh. Okay, well, like, this is frustrating, but also hilarious. I, I guess we got hit there. Um, so our main goal is to blow up and act like we don't know nobody. Nyam, 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 nyam. Our main goal is to uh, get enough money. I don't mean dollars. I mean money in the Kingdom Hearts sense. Uh, to get enough money... Is it XL? No. Uh, to buy something from our next shop. Like our next Stairway to Heaven shop. I don't regret this, by the way. You might be like, you know, save and quit. and Or just if you Alt F4 your game, you can go back in time. I would never, you know? Like, and you should be ashamed of your words and your deeds. I will say, like, it's kind of embarrassing that... Like, this is all it takes to <laughs> screw up the game. <laughs> it's like three items. <laughs> but, I mean, look at how many... Uh, it, it's actually... I bet it's more to do with, like, the Parasite plus Angelic Prism is causing, like, a double split. Um, or even, like, a, a, a squared split. Which then, I'm sure, requires, like, applying all the Angelic Prism colors to, which maybe is... I don't know. I'm just guessing. I'm rubber duck debugging, but I haven't even imagined the code, so... This is just this is just my expectations running away with me. I do hate that we lost... Uh, that we lost our ability to have plus 10 luck, but realistically, that was not sticking around too long. Let's, let's be real, you and I. That's unfortunate. Uh, so we're gonna have to make a, a, a serious decision. I would say, as of right now, this run is on the very borderline of being able to fight Hush. But I honestly don't think we can do it uh, with the slowdown. Like, I'm taking damage against enemies I got no business getting hit by. I really don't see us uh, being able to, to dodge, like, the way you have to dodge on the Hush fight. So I'm just gonna... Uh, there's no way this doesn't crash the game. Whatever, man. You know what? While we're here, you gotta try. Yeah, it's good enough. Good enough. Um, okay. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. It could work it out, man. It could work it out. It could work it out. Just let it let it calculate. Let it run the calculations. Okay, I'm closing the game. It's not responding. You hate to see it. You know what this means, though. This me wait a tick. <laughs> that means I'm single again. No, but it means that I I could come back to having diplopia, right? Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't even have the option to go back for Stairway to Heaven, which is honestly, like, completely okay. I don't know if we got anything else there. I'm choosing to just game. How does that sound? Oh, what? You don't like gaming? It sucks, because, like, I would have loved to have spent the five cents on the Eternal Heart, but, like, realistically, it's not that big of a deal. We should probably be okay regardless. Just trying to get as much... Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Just trying to get as much money as is conceivable before the next floor. Um, so that we can... Well, now that I think about it, we kind of got like one floor where we don't have to worry about it so much. Feels like the game's running real smooth right now, doesn't it? Because we can... If we got a great shop on our next floor, like great stairway to heaven shop, we just diplopia. And if we have a bad one, then we just... You know, we don't want to buy it in the first place. We'll just save diplopia. Holy bursh. 
That's enough money to feel better. That's a tears upgrade? Holy crap. And a health upgrade? What a world. Did we get those last time? I was too busy bantering. That doesn't sound like me. Doesn't sound like me in the slightest. Go ahead. You get, get a little bit. Get a little bit of your coins, you piece. See the man with the law. Uh, uh, am I insane? Like, this seems... Oh, you know what it is? I was going to say this seems so much better. It's because we still have perfection. Still having perfection is changing everything here. We also did not get our angel deal. I guess maybe some of the items up here affected our chances. I mean, I'll be real with you. Like... That's big. But I don't I'm not gonna take the eternal heart here. I think I'd rather save money for a future stairway to heaven. And we also get the extra damage out of money equals power. So like The most important thing. Go ahead, it's all yours. The world is yours. You piece. Can I get you over here? No, he's gonna pick it up. I'm not gonna use a bomb for that. The most important thing, I think, is, uh... Don't push it, don't push it, don't push it. Thank you. Uh, keeping perfection. I'm not naive enough to think we're gonna keep it through the hush fight, which we're probably going to do now. But if we could at least keep it for, like, you know, the first phase, that's something. If we could keep it for much of the second phase, that's, that's great, too. You know, it, it does do a great job of blocking shots. We need to save some keys, so you gotta be a little... Cautious. Like, we kind of want to keep seven. Hey, hey, hey! I, you, you can't see my face, but I'm actually, like, mad. <laughs> like, my, I, I furrowed my brow. Let's put it that way. Thank you, thank you. There's money. Don't worry, it'll be put to good use. Dunk, 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 dunk. It's a fun run, though. I, I don't know what happened. Like, I, I I flipped the switch. Well, and by flip the switch, I mean this is, like, my third fun Isaac video in a row. There was, like, that video a few ago where I was, like, I'm bad at the game. And it's, like, over. And then now I'm, like, I'm kind of just chilling. It's funny how life works. <laughs> now I'm just enjoying life. Do we get a, uh, do we get a diplopia here? Or, uh, not a, a stairway to heaven. Do we get a stairway here? We do get a stairway here. I mean, I'll just be real with you, man. I'll just pay for the rosary. I don't think that's that's a necessary uh, diplopia. I don't know. I'm, I know I'm going to be the guy that ends up holding diplopia for the whole game at this point, but so be it. A little speed upgrade never hurt anybody. A speedy little freak. Lover's card could save us. You never know. Very hard to justify spending money, although I will admit the nightlight might be an exception to the rule for this particular fight. Um, try me. Pretty great, actually. We even got a luck upgrade. I'm not willing. The, the reason I'm not willing is because every... Oh, well, hold on, though. Yoink. <laughs> I didn't want to lose... Uh, the money that we could use that, that we could use for damage here and also for future stairways to heaven the flip side of that this is that I literally did hold diplopia for like seven floors just to get 15 cents plus miscellaneous uh, value out of it which makes you seem like a fool but I'm like I'm, I'm a genuine firm believer in the idea that sometimes the plays that look the dumbest are actually the smartest like and, and my philosophy is very hard to follow on this, but it happens in Super Auto Pets all the time. Conventional wisdom is that you always want to have a squad of five animals. Anytime you see a squad of four animals, my initial hunch in the past was this person screwed up badly. And now they can't even run a full squad. What I'm realizing now, and having done it myself on many occasions, is that what it actually means is somebody encountered something so incredible and we knew that was coming at some point but we were very blessed to keep our perfection as long as we could what actually happened most of the time is that they uh 
encountered something that was so good that it made them do a dumb thing in order to get the good thing that was probably better than having a full squad. So we might as well. I know it's, it's, it's a strange thing to think about, but sometimes, like... You know, that's why in chess, there's, there's two different notations for a move that's questionable, right? Like, one of them is like a blunder, and then the other one is like question mark, exclamation mark, whereas a blunder is two question marks. Question mark, exclamation mark is like, uh, I don't really know what they're doing, but this person is probably much better at chess than me, so let's see how this plays out. We'll take that. Absolutely. And then we, we need to use our lover's card. I didn't even think about that, but... Yeah, this is, like, this is really good. This run worked, man. And we barely, like, got it popping. Like, we very easily could have died. I guess we should look at what the trinket is instead of just, you know, uh, eh, 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 no thank you. That's how you know it runs good or I'm lazy. <laughs> well, this is great, too. You know a run is good or you're lazy when you have no trinket and then there's a trinket back there and you're like, nah, that's okay. Maybe next time. What's on the agenda for the rest of the day? So this is the second Isaac episode of the day. After this, I'll record a Super Auto Pets video. I will um, go pick up my daughter from daycare. It's Tuesday. That means it's bath night. We'll do a little bath time for sure. It's, um... I, I could cook whatever I want for dinner tonight. I don't know, man. I Jeez ah, Louise. Maybe do some tacos or something. And then, uh, it, I mean, that's about it. I'm looking forward to it. Sounds idyllic, right? Like, I, I feel like John Wick after he retired right now. I'm still working, but, like, my job's a little easier than John Wick's. Like, n never once have I had to perform, like, an emergency bulletectomy on myself. So, I mean, knock on wood, I guess. There's Oh, frick. Now I gotta walk all the way back here just to get Crown of Light to pop. Just because I thought it would be so fun to pop a single red heart. Wow. All that to get an HP up for no reason. Thanks a lot, me. So freaking stupid, man. Anyway, this run is, is there. It's already there. It's a bit chaotic. But that's okay. I, I don't know, like, can I tell you something? I feel like we might be looking at Saturnus as, like, one of the most underrated items in the game. Or, like, one of the more underrated planetarium items. I guess I should stop clickbaiting you. Like, not every single one has to be, like, of all time! <laughs> Some of them just exist. They're like, you know, it's a run! We gotta check this first. Before we do anything, I, I'm not a believer. I'm not a believer. I'm a believer. I actually wouldn't mind going down to no red hearts because I think that would keep uh, Crown of Light active. Well, I was gonna say at all times, but it'll it'll deactivate once per room if we get hit. I think, but that's it's a small price to pay. I don't know. Maybe it made no sense. It doesn't matter. We're we're in a luxurious position where it doesn't matter. But I really feel like if you were to... It's like in an auto battler. If we were to look at the damage dealt, we might think that, like, our Mordekaiser's doing all the damage, but then you, you look at it and you're like, oh, look at that. Your weird little... Uh, give me, like, a level one teamfight tactics unit. Your weird little uh, Gragas. Or Gargas? You know what I... Dude, I, I, I can share this story about teamfight tactics, by the way. I haven't played a run in, I don't know, like, four months... And I only played for like two weeks <laughs> when I was playing. Um, but I remember I was talking about it on stream. And people were like, you're going to be fine. You'll win eventually as long as you don't run a meme like Gragas or something like that. And then they laughed. And I laughed. I said I would never. Then I looked up who Gragas or Gargas, however who is pronounced. Uh, I looked up who they were. I saw the portrait and I was like, no word of a lie. I take this dude every time. <laughs> and I did not know he was a meme. I thought he was a, a good brawler that uh, allows us to enable some early tankiness synergy. And I like his ability that stuns the enemy. It makes me feel like it's good. 
Yo, look at that. So that person, I don't know, they might have been wrong, by the way. They might have been, like, you know, talking crap about a pretty sunset. Because Gra Gragas slash Gargas, I mean, I, I felt like he did some work for me. Maybe he's, he's okay in the meta. But that, that was a sobering moment for me. The character they mentioned as a meme was, like, my always take. He was my everything. He's still the one I pog to. Dude, what a run. And what a series of runs we've been on lately. How about that? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps us a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!